Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. Make your kites strong, so the offerings they bear will reach the heavens above. What? Take you the supple skin of the sacrifice, carve it in a single piece from belly and back, and stretch it upon a rack of metal or wood. Scrape the skin clean and anoint it with sacred oils, then leave it under the blessed sky for seven days and nights. Take the long bones of leg and arm and lash the torso onto the kite. Thus will the workings of the flesh bear your gift aloft into the presence of the gods. Okay, weirdo. Colorado Springs, that's where we want to go. All right, so we're heading back to Colorado Springs to find uh, Mama Carter. Uh, actually, let's go to downtown Colorado Springs first. Find Mama Carter. Deal with that. Then we'll head to Ranger H HQ, get healed up. Then we'll... I guess we talk. need to talk to Gideon Reyes after. Maybe. But I don't know. But... That's in Broadmoor Heights, where we need to go check uh, the bunker underneath. So let's deal with Mama Cotter first. Let's deal with Mama Cotter first. Yeah, I think that's the plan. So if you're enjoying the series, uh, enjoying, enjoying the videos, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. It really helps me out a lot, and as I said, it, it, I really appreciate it. Also, if you have comments, tips, tricks, anything except spoilers, uh, please uh, leave them in the comment section below the video. I love getting comments, I read all of them, and I reply to most of them. And also, of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you're new, why not hit that subscribe button as well, and the notification bell, so you know when new videos are coming out. Jesse Cotter, we have Mama Cotter right here. Oh, there's something that we can loot. Not bad. Uh, Alright, let's talk to Mama Cotter. Hell do you want from Mama Carter? We met some refugees at the bazaar. They said you you hired smugglers to sneak them into Colorado Springs. She scrapes out a yellow tooth with a dirt encrusted nail. Maybe so. Where are those refugees now? They're on their way here. We bought them passage on a caravan. Alive and well, no thanks to you. The smugglers stole their money and locked them in a in a cell. Shit. I knew I shouldn't have trusted those assholes, but they were the only ones who deal with me. Guess I know why they're so flexible on their price. <laughs> nah, I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to lift a finger for them. So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? She'll be safe in the ranger lockup. Reyes would want her in jail. He's a powerful man to have as a friend. And the Rangers could use some powerful friends. That is true. Well, am I under arrest? Afraid so. We're taking you into custody. Not this time, but no more smuggling refugees. Go around your side, keep helping the refugees, and we'll look the other way. Let's arrest her. Oh, no, you ain't. You'll have to go through us first. Mama's sons clench their fists and reach for weapons. Stand down, Bobby. These are the same folks who shot up the door season the Garden of the Gods. They must have killed Stenerud and his smugglers, too. We don't stand a chance against them. That's true. This ain't worth the lives of my boys. I'll go quietly. The old woman holds up her wrists. We lost 15 standing with the Wastelanders, but... We are still light, so... Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? We placed Mama 
caught her under arrest, send a squad to pick her up. We placed under Mama Carter under arrest. Have the marshal send someone to pick her up. No, we're gonna arrest her ourselves. Oh, Mama Carter, a criminal? <laughs> Who would have thought? Dispatching a squad over and out. All right. Return to Gideon Reyes in Broadmoor Heights. Yeah, I thought so. That that would be the next Rangers, step in that mission. Check me out. Thanks so much for ensuring we got this shipment of power armor. You're welcome. No well, thanks are necessary, Marshal. You're welcome. How do you like it? Looking good. No one's going to mess with you now. No thanks are necessary, Marshal. When I first saw you roll into town, I had my doubts. But you have definitely come through time and time again. This will make work so much easier. Anyway, these refugee vermin aren't going to punch themselves. Thanks again, <coughs> Rangers. I'm not sure that's what was intended with that power armor. Yeah, for the words of the Reyes to buy up. Um, I'm sure they can Alright, so where are we going? We're not going. Where, where the hell are we? We need to head to. There. Okay. So we're going this way. No, that's where Mama Cutter is. We're going this way. Okay. Did you just give me a treason? I had to call or, or to the Ranger HQ. Would you rather freeze to death or burn? And then we'll look at the level ups. We have two. Let's travel. Ranger Citadel was the, was the headquarters of the Desert Rangers until its destruction in 2102. Okay. I'm not even sure what year we're in now. Anyone know what year we're in? I have no idea. 2130? Somehow comes to mind, but I'm not sure. Leave it in the comments if you know what, what year we're in. Because I, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. All right, almost there with the load. There we go. Very good. Come on. All right, so we've arrested Mama Cutter as well. Who's this dude? Tom Red. But let's. Before we do anything else, I want to go get healed up, and I want to level up. Three hearts and a car. Can't beat it. Mm -mm. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. The hell they're in! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it, and now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our space? I'm just saying. Oh, Team November, I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. Okay. Uh, why did the fight break Rinsky's out? Rinsky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This okay. is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well... Freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments, but today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem's not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. Uh, this wasn't the first incident. Any suggestions for a fix? This wasn't the first there incident? There's been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but there's more than a few who ain't. Calling us names as they walk past, or telling us we're on borrowed time here, in our own home. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. 
part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. Yeah? Well, we're waiting. We gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. True. Any suggestions for a fix? The warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. Okay, here's See? our decision. Uh, when we make a deal, we stick to it. We can, You can stay where you are, Rangers. We'll have a problem with that. We'll be disciplined. We won't go back on our deal, but adjustments have to be made before someone gets killed. There's room in the brig. Move in there. I'm sorry, Dell, but we have a mission to accomplish, and the needs of the Rangers must come first. You and your people have to find somewhere else to stay. So this is kind of a compromise, but I think we're going to stick to our deal. You... You're siding with us? Uh, uh, wow. Thank you, Rangers. No we worries. Have a noble choice, Team November, but it won't lessen the friction. I'm afraid we'll pay for this later. Maybe. We'll see. There's Ananda. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go see Doc first. Rangers. I'd like to be patched up. No sense in bleeding all. Have a seat. Okay. Fine. Just all right. don't all get patched up out there and make more work for me. Okay. Now level ups. Uh, skills. We have that uh, helmet here, which requires strength four. And weird science. So I think, uh, and it was weird science six, right? Yeah, so we have weird science. We need the strength. So we're gonna up his strength. So that when he levels up next time, he can use that. Then I think we'll go with I'm thinking small arms. Yeah. Then we have a perk. Shredder shot, trick shot, clear cover. Doesn't it just piss you off when you drag out a combat by hiding behind cover? Shotguns do 100% damage versus cover. Nice! So, so far, oh, that gives us the toast, which is a nice healing item, actually. Uh, after stay, uh, energy damage increased by 0 0.5, bonus damage for every point of armor the target has. Okay. That's quite nice, too. I think we're gonna go clear cover. Then we have Quan. Let's go into sneaky shit. And Quan needs. Let's give him some coordination. And then alarms and traps have a fifty percent chance to malfunction when you set them off. That's not actually not half bad. Yeah. 
sneak attack damage plus 200%, nice. But we generally see them before we... I think I'll just go healthy. Give him some more health. Okay, let's get that what do you need, Rangers? healed up because now we have some more health on That's what you two of our guys. If it ain't cut, don't stitch it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, do we have enough medical stuff? Yeah, I think we do for now. I think we do for now. Let's try talking to Irv here, see what Hi, he's Rangers. all about. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting. Okay. Glad to have you here. Have you? Are you enjoying the work? I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life I wanted to be a scientist. But all I could do was read the books and dream. Now I can actually do things. It's incredible. Uh, what are you working on? Uh, what do you think of Dr. Parker? He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the, um, y you know, evil. Okay. Can you clone one of us? Can you clone one of uh, us? Yes, theoretically. I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process. Uh, but um, no guarantee what comes out the other end. Okay. I did make a few tweaks to the process, though. So whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. <laughs> okay. Uh, we want to try anyway. Okay, well, how exciting. Uh, but before we start, one tiny... Caveat. The process requires special genetic material, and I've only got enough for one clone. So, if anything happens to our new friend, try to recover its remains so we can reuse them. Okay, gotta keep that in mind, now, I guess. Put your palm on the machine right here. Placing your palm on the pad of Earth's machine, you feel a small pinprick. Earth shows you a pink pulsating pineapple-sized glob of goo, then toss it into a hatch on the side of the machine. The machine whirs and rattles for a few minutes before a sound makes its way out, similar to air gurgling out of a pudding-filled balloon. Okay. The chamber shudders and the room rings with a wet, slapping noise. Ooh, look at that! Uh, with an ear ringing squelch, a highly pressurized jet of goo fires out of a crack in the chassis. The chamber shudders and the room rings with a wet slapping noise. With an ear ringing squelch, a highly pressurized jet of goo fires out of a crack in the chassis. Finally, the doors slide open and a gush of foul smelling purple fluid pours out, followed by a gray skinned, hairless, and mucus covered clone. Baba, baba. Okay, Baba! Hey, this one can talk! Okay. So, do we have a. like a clone thing now? Doesn't seem like it. Is he coming with us? He is coming with us. Tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life. Okay. Sure, dude. Let's see, we don't have the mechanics yet, do we? No. Well, there's Jody. Let's have a look at her. Don't tell the Patriarch I said this. But his son Victory seems like a first class psycho. I agree. We could use you out there. Wanna come along? You bet. Ready when you are. Okay, so now we can choose to include her in the squad, but who do we take out? I am thinking Professor Higgs. I suppose we can all race switch back if we want, right? So now we have Jody here, who is a sniper, which I like. She's level 11, so she has 18 skill points. 
Okay. There's six attribute points, which has three perks. Hmm. So Professor Higgs was our weird science dude. And our animal whisperer, maybe? Yeah. So she already has some animal whis whisperer, so we can get that up easy enough. We want weird science. Yeah. What else was he doing for us? Was he our nerd stuff guy as well? No, nope, that's you. Explosives is you. Mechanics is you. Zeus is kind of a jack of all traits, really. So how about we keep her and leave Seuss here. I want to get some weird science going. Let's take that up to five. We'll take Animal Whisper up as well. And then get some sniper rifles. I like th that she has three first aid as well. Let's get that one more up. So, Sniper Rifles takes Intelligence, Awareness, and Luck. So, Intelligence increases the crit chance. And crit damage. And we gain a skill point for every two. So let's do that, and then do that, to give her some more actions. And that gives us another two skill points, which we can put into something. Into weird science. And then... Your surgeon and your sniper rifle is your instrument. Precision strikes with sniper rifles have significant higher chance of inflicting critical effects. I like that. Microwave research, uh, structural weakness. Mm. So. I like this one, but she'll be the one who throw, tosses out uh, stuff, right? Uh, tosses out uh, animals, and or not animals, <laughs> she doesn't toss out animals. She tosses out uh, turrets and stuff like that. Animal companions gain bonus con and damage. That's nice. Let's do that. A beast ally brings something primal and pure. Any companion provide you with better passive bonuses. There's one perk left. I think we'll do Masterful Precision with that. Okay. Let's kit her out. So, Old Rusty, 44 to 61. Both of these are better than that, so... Let's do that. She needs some armor. 
Ooh. We need to get some strength on her. Uh, she only has strength two. So we need two strength on her so she can use this one. Armor plus five. These two are the same. Plus four, status effect, persistence. I think we'll do that for her. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now... Um... I think... Where did... Where did Professor Higgs go? Did, did we get his gear? No. Alright, so I guess we need to talk to Great Ski or something to get Professor Higgs back for a second. Uh, before we do this, let's unequip this stuff. Rangers, good to see you. We need to manage sure our active rangers. Uh, oh, Pooh, I was rather hoping for something juicy. Oh, okay. Well, then, what is it? It's That's what just that is. That. Oh, you know me as Roger well, that's fine. Mayhew, Let's remove you and. I am also. At that moment, all the lights went out in the Let's garden. select you. Ready? There you go. Anything else? No, not right now. I'll be here. But there will be something else. We just need to get all of this gear off him. Before he could finish, there was a smack, like a mallet striking the And then we want Jody back. Rangers, good to see you. Sure thing. Let's have a look. Okay, so you remove Jody. <clears throat> get in there. There you go. Anything else? Goodbye. I'll be here. But Jody Roger was nowhere to be seen. Trooper armor. Trooper legs. Trooper helmet. Okay. And then we want this thing and we want that thing. You have three slots. Do you have... Why do you have three slots? Okay, well, I'm not complaining. So... You got one of these. You got a frag grenade. And you got one of these. Actually, yeah. She needs to get... Well, no, she doesn't need to get mechanics. But someone needs to get get mechanics to get this up. Okay. Now... Oh. Okay, so you... Uh, we need to get our mechanics up so that we can use these for sure. Uh, Alright, I guess that's it. And then um, this thing needs to come in here. Because that was kind of handy. Okay. Cool, cool. Then we need to go buy some ammo. You're keeping people alive, Rangers. That's a good thing in my book. Even if it is a bit tight in here. I like it here. It's fine. 
Can't complain. I'm certain. Happy to. Take a look. Okay, so we need... We have 556 ammo. We have 762 ammo. Why couldn't we reload our gun here then? On. What ammo does this thing take? Ammo type spikes. Oh, okay. Okay. That's surprising to me. But, uh, sure. I'd rather have more mouths to feed than dead people. Me too. Happy to. Take a look. Okay, so we need some spikes. Okay. We have no money. Oh, we should have sold our junk, shouldn't we? I feel bad for the refugees. A lot of people are pissed at them. Happy to. Take a look. Sell junk. Gives us a little bit, gives us a little bit of money. We have ammo for that so far. SWAT rifle, 17 to 22, that's not bad. Negotiator, sniper rifle, 63 to 88. Ren. Oh. Yeah, some okay stuff, but I don't think we need it right now. So, in the next one, I guess we'll head to Broadmoor Heights and go talk to, um, this job. to Gideon Reyes and check out, if we have time, check out the, uh, uh, the Cordite guy. So thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.